Welcome to the channel. So today we're going to talk about just a little cheat code. So let's say you, you know, you want to work on some music, but you're kind of stuck a little bit and don't have any kind of ideas. So um, the first part of the cheat code is what I usually do is I just listen to music or I may relax, may go for a walk, sit out on the balcony, uh, watch the uh, the wind blow, the trees sway, kind of relax. Uh, I may see a deer running across the yard or something, I may get inspired. I don't know. See some squirrels or something climbing up on some trees. Uh, but if I still don't uh, feel anything, I'll just go. I'll open up Splice here. Splice is 10 bucks a month. The plan that I have, you get 100 credits, which basically made 100 sounds or 100 samples. And uh, they actually carry over. I probably got over, I don't know, 2,000 samples or something that I haven't even gotten to yet. So I'll go to Trap here. I'll find me something. Let's just take a listen here. These are sounds I want to find. Some melodic loops here. It's just what I noticed Something could be up Okay, this in the key of C, I'm gonna remember that one Okay, keep that one in line here. All right, so what you do, uh, you just hit the plus sign and it'll download into your library. Okay. I like that, but I want just not so much vocals here. I'm going to use uh, my second cheat code for the vocals. So let me just keep going here. Let me see if I can find something. I like that one, so I'm going to hit the plus sign here. And it's really easy. Uh, the first thing you want to notice, you want to notice the tempo, which is 140 here. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take that and drag it to a pad. You can drag it directly from Splice. Okay, so. All right, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change my tempo to match the tempo of the loop. Set my bars to, my length to eight bars. And I can always change the tempo later uh, by using warp, and I'll show you that a little bit later. All right, did I use the right tempo? Don't think I did. Tempo is, oh, 140, okay. So let's do that again. All right, just gotta be sure here. So two things I made note of, my actual key, which is D sharp minor. Bolo just made a beat in D sharp minor the other day. That was a strange one. That's an odd key, but it's really E flat major, I believe. Um, so 
we got that one now sometimes you're like okay everybody's using the same whatever loops or whatever okay because that'll pop up if you go to splice and search trap and it'd be one of the ones but what i'll do i'll mangle it up I'll, I'll switch it up a little bit and one of the simplest ways right now is the new plugin from akai which is called flex beat so i'm just going to go here i'm going to load flex beat into the insert and i'm just going to switch it up a little bit and i'll probably add like maybe a filter or something on it so you know even though you're paying for the you know your monthly fee every month and you got rights to the loop supposed to be royalty free you know you can you can still get flagged so it's just best to don't keep it the same way So I use that one. It's similar to the original, and then I can also just the dry and wet right here to kind of mix it a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and just save this. I'm just gonna call this cheat codes and we'll call this main one. All right, and then we'll go here to a new track. And from here, I just wanna load up some drums. I'm going to use, uh, let's see, let's just go to my people's drum kits here. Let's go. If you don't have Bolo drum kits, you need to go ahead and get them. I got the, uh, I gotta get the, the new one as well but it's called i think it's buffers let's just go here keep hitting the wrong buttons okay so kind of like that one let's just drag that one here matter of fact i want to create a new program let's just drop it here Okay, and then I'll just create a new program. All right, so we got a program. So I just did it on the MPC. You just click the add program button. Right, I got to get used to some of the stuff you do on the software. I'm just so used to being hands on. So what I'm going to do, I got that. I'm going to minimize this for now. I got that clap right here. Put the clap right there. And then let's get a um, hi hats. Let's use this one. Okay, and then let's just get kicks. One that's kind of sharp because I'm gonna layer it with the 808 sample, but the 808 mic can stand on its own. Let's just get something like that. And we just dragged it here. Okay, and I got it. Okay, let's go ahead and lay some drums.
Okay, remember I said my key was D sharp minor. Okay, so let's uh, call this drums. I'm gonna add an 808 later. All right, go drums. And then what I'm gonna do is just explode these so they'll be on their own track. So it's gonna be edit, track, explode. Okay, so now these tracks are on their own track. Use the first one there. So I'm gonna drop it in the sample pool. Alright, so I created a key group. You just hit a uh, program here to hit the plus sign with the keyboard on it, and then you uh, load the sample. I loaded this sample here from uh, Bolo's X Factor Kit 8081. Then I'm gonna put it on uh, mono so when I play it. Alright, so that kick, I actually uh, dropped it down one semitone in uh, inside of the edit program because it was just uh, it was just off a little bit, but it's okay. So that's my 808 there. Save that, and now let's come up with something else to go with that, and then from there we'll go to the part two of the cheat code. I'm gonna go to plugin and let's go to one. Of, let's see. I'm gonna do something different. I haven't had this for a while and I'm gonna do a whole video on this, but let's go to uh, use the rolling cloud. And let's do, use uh, Xenology. I think it's just the audio unit. There go. This might be one of the most slept on uh, systems, but um, I think a lot of people using it, they're, they're just not telling you. So basically what uh, the rolling cloud is, is just basically I'm gonna say all, if not most, of rolling sounds, uh, plus the new technology of Xenology. That's their synth engine. still use Zen, but I'm gonna go to a new instance of it. This time I'm actually go through one. Okay, you can see I got all my synths right here. Let's pull up a Jupiter 8. Goodness.
for now let's just go to I'm on track 12 now actually yeah 13 and let's go to go ahead and pull up arcade new program okay so arcade is by output um, output makes a lot of great uh, plugins I actually have the whole suite arcade I got into maybe a couple of years ago so basically it's just a it's a sample library with tons and tons of loops and everything what I'm gonna do I'm gonna look for some um, maybe some phrases or loops or some vocal chops to throw in here and let's go with uh, let's see there's some kind of guess on some things here because sometimes it's just 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 a matter of just rolling the dice to see what you want let's go with drip hip-hop beats What, what I like about the splice is cool, you know. Um, I'm okay with it being a little dirty, a little low quality, a little low fi sign, which is fine because I'll probably fit through that all kind of stuff to dirty it up anyway. But um, uh, output is like the quality is like it's different, you know, it's like it's really, really high quality. This one of my favorite. I don't one. want anybody else. Let's go with it. Let's go with this one here. Let's see what we got. So basically, I'm gonna play it on the keyboard. Okay, I found my actual key. Uh, sometimes, you know, spice not always right, but F sharp major is my key here. All right, so let's uh, add that. All right, so this bottom row, these are just, just think of these as your white keys here. All right, up here, these are the black keys. While you're holding down the key, you can hit one of these modifiers and come up with even more stuff so it'll sound more original versus, uh, you know, just somebody just looping it all the way through. So I went through hook. I found this one here. Easier said than done. These like give you like song ideas and everything. It's like you have your own. You know you can. Uh, what I do, I shop beats with the hook on it. And if I don't record the hook or make the hook myself or have an artist do the hook, um, output is a good cheat code. Uh, so I got my key here in F sharp major. All right, and I'm gonna play when I play the when I play the notes here. Easier said than done. Hold it on. Hold it on. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hold it on. Easier said than done. All right, so let's record that. And this part right here, this is just beyond, you know, maybe the hook or maybe just another part of the song.
Okay, I got my idea. Uh, you know, this is mainly this. That's basically it. Uh, let's just call it. Uh, all right. So what I'm gonna do? The quickest and easiest way to get this out. First of all, I'm making sure my master fader here is not clipping. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to the main here. I'm gonna go to my audio drive right here. I'm gonna create a new folder. All right. I'm gonna call it a. Uh, easier I name it something and then I put the uh, tempo behind it just want to remember where you're saving your stuff at so so easier tempo was 140 140 BPM all right I'm open this up all right quickest way now I can track this out manually I can go file export tracks but here I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the drag and drop function this right here is very convenient uh, I first saw this I guess machine had uh, native instruments with machine had beat a Kai to this, but finally a Kai uh, got this, and uh, it's pretty simple to do. So over here, this is your wave file bounce, and then over here is your MIDI file. If you want the MIDI file, you double click this, and if you want the audio file, you double click here. All right, and once it renders, I'm gonna take that, drag and drop it, bam. Okay, so that's my main loop there. I'm gonna skip drums because that's all the drums together. But I'm gonna do the kick, double click the waveform. Drag and drop it. Go to the next sound, snare, clap, like a snare and a clap together. Drop it. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video here and just go ahead and just finish the rest of them. Okay, so now we got all our tracks uh, bounced out. Actually, I just double click, change to a waveform, drag and drop into a folder. All right, so we'll go ahead and save that, quit it. And I'm going to, uh, just as a, let's just use uh, Pro Tools. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open up Pro Tools. I'm gonna go ahead and set my tempo. Doesn't matter which DAW you use, but I'm using Pro Tools. All right, and I use record at 48 kilohertz, 32-bit uh, wave. You can also do AIFF for max or whatever. It doesn't matter. So, uh, da, 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 da. go here, and I just need to put this on my regular recording drive, which is here. Create. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is change my tempo. All right, so we'll go ahead and just double click right here. Make sure you're on number one, yeah. And let's change this tempo to 140. All right. I'm gonna go file, import, audio. Go to my audio drive. Highlight all the tracks. All right, I'm gonna choose convert. Then I'm gonna click open. Audio files folder by default that's connected to this Pro Tools session. I'm gonna keep it there and go open. Then I'm gonna choose uh, new tracks. Okay. Now, clip list, you can just put them over here in the clip list and drag them in, but we're just gonna go to session start here with new tracks. Go there. All right. All right, so it's a 16 bar loop. Um, 
Actually, it's an eight bar loop. So, knock my increments down the bars. Okay. So basically, I'm just gonna let it go for uh, those eight bars and I'm gonna cut it off. Put this on grid mode. Okay, so just at the end of those eight bars. I got a little bit of carryover, which is good because you can crossfade. All right, so let's uh, play this. Make sure it ain't too loud. Go back here. All right, it's pretty loud. Let me go ahead and create a master fader here and turn this down. I like my look like a mixing board, so I put the master fade on the end. And we'll just So what I do, I, I just put my tracks in order. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll start with the drums, uh, low, lower frequency up to higher, using my kick first, snare, um, hi-hats. And I usually put my 808 after the uh, kick because I have to blend those two together. And then I put that bass sound right after that. And then my tones, I go from low frequency to high frequency. So I'll go ahead and do that. So what I'm doing here, I'll go ahead and uh, show you what I'm doing here. I always go on my master fader and I put a meter so I can just kind of see where I am while I'm working. So uh, my favorite meter is the TRS master meter. All right, so let's uh, just start putting these in order. Here's my kick right here. And I got my master fader zero now, so just alternate or option click and it goes, it'll knock any fader to zero. And the update in Pro Tools, you can actually undo that. Let's say you did all of them by mistake, you can uh, press Command Z and undo it, so. Leave a little room here. This is should be my open hi hat here. here. So this is my splice loop right here that we started off with from the beginning. And then we added the uh, this arcade line. Okay, then I got two parts of the hook here. They're kind of the same. So, what I do 
So I'll just make this one piece. Option click drag. I highlighted that those bars and press B to cut. Alright, and then this part this right here. I'll just go ahead and highlight that. Press B to cut. Move it up. That bar there. And then in this track I can really just get rid of. Oh, So now we'll make this we'll make this one track on command option G. We'll just consolidate it. Okay, so it was one piece. All right, so now we have our loop and had a little beat block at the beginning. Opening up, opened up splice. Found a um, pretty good loop there. Add a little bit of flex beat to it, and then um, Changed it up a little bit so it wouldn't sound like everybody else's. And then from here, we use the uh, bounce to, to file function inside of the NPC software. Then we drag and drop into a folder. This looks like nothing right here. Sometimes it'll get like the effects track and there's nothing on this track. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Press Command D, I highlighted all those. Press Command D, we'll take it out to about three minutes or so. And then you can do a little song arrangement to it from there. And from there, we'll just uh, put it in order. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little quick arrangement. All right, so now I have a, uh, I did a quick arrangement on it so we can just see what we what we got from just that little uh, splice loop and the little uh, vocal chops and the, um, the other two loops from arcade output. I didn't have any ideas before. So I said, you know, let me just take a listen here. And uh, those were pretty good song starters. So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go ahead and play it from the beginning to the end and let me know what you think. All right.
All right, so yeah, that's it. Uh, that was just a little quick one uh, dealing with uh, Splice and Arcade. Uh, I'll be doing more of these. If you have any questions, let me know. But uh, yeah, I think it's it's, it's worth the the uh, price every month to just have uh, royalty free um, loops and samples. Like I say, just switch them up some. You know, I didn't do a lot of switching uh, for time's sake, but yeah, you can even chop them up even more. I could have played them backwards or anything. I just broke up the bars and just played them in different played the uh, slices in, in different orders. There's just so many different ways to do it. Uh, probably with this one, I'll probably run it through um, like a vintage plugin, like a RC20 or something, just to make it sound like an old sampler. And uh, but yeah, um, be sure to like and subscribe and share. And I do appreciate you watching and always comment. And again, I do appreciate you. All right, and I'll check you on the next one.